Yo everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, and it's also the day before Christmas Eve. It's the holidays, baby. Boom. Oh my good golly goodness. Nothing better than the holidays. Yeah. I am so ready for 2020 to be over. Who's ready for 2020 to be completely done? I know, me too. It's like, come on, get done already. But more than that, I am super excited for Christmas. And so are both of the Siberian Huskies. And I'm sure you guys are too. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm sure you're excited for any celebration that's coming your way. But we're not talking about celebrations today. We're talking Siberian Husky stuff, dude. Yeah, in case you're new to the channel, this is your number one stop for all the Husky information that you've ever needed in one location. We go over everything you need to know when it comes to training, raising and living with Siberian Huskies. If you want to teach your Siberian Husky a brand new trick, this is the place. If you want to try and figure out how to solve a really complex problem, well, this is the YouTube channel for you. We have hundreds of videos and we cover a wide range of topics. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and so that you can find everything you need ASAP. He looks like, Daddy-O, can you get into the video already? The audience really wants to know what we're talking about today. I mean, it's hump day, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, Look, I put on my pretty eyeliner today, and I want to show it off. Oh, whoa, sorry, that was a little too close and a little too loud. She's like, whoa, dude, that's not what I signed up for in the contract, man. <laughs> You're so cute. Can I get a paw? Yeah, other paw? Yeah, dude, you're the coolest. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how you can introduce your Siberian Husky to a brand new dog. You might be thinking about getting a Siberian Husky, but you already have a dog at home, or you already have a Siberian Husky and you're thinking about getting a second dog. There's a wide range of possibilities why you'd want to introduce your dog to another dog and do it safely. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time, Scooby-Doo. Let's get to the magic. No, 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 not your butt magic. I'm talking about the, the movie magic. Yeah, let's drop some knowledge, doggo. Scooby-Doo-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop-Bop
situation because oftentimes the puppy doesn't know better and the dog that already lives there is going to be seriously defensive or territorial of not only items, but places around the house. So do yourself a favor. Like we said, first tip, go ahead and introduce your dogs outdoors. Let them take a little bit of a stroll. Let them smell each other outside. Let them get to know each other just a tiny bit before you bring them inside. And once you gauge that they are pretty familiar with each other, it seems like they're a little bit friendly when they get around one another, it could be safe to bring them inside your home. Now we're gonna be moving on into step two here, and this should also happen before you bring your brand new puppy or your new dog into the house for the first time. Be sure you pick up anything of value off of the floor. Get any of the toys, anything that your husky or your original dog absolutely loves or could become possessive over it, take it, pick it up off the floor and put it in a high place. You wanna make sure that anything of value is completely out of sight and out of mind. This is another mistake that a lot of people make because one of the first things you wanna do when you bring home a brand new dog is get them a thousand toys and let them have a blast. But this can become a problem also because now you're creating a struggle, a competition for all these desirable things. So be sure to remove all of the toys, all the treats, even things that you may not consider to be toys, like hair ties, make sure you remove those because dogs will fight over anything they can get their hands on and we wanna create a neutral, safe environment here. Now you wanna make sure that you're keeping a close eye on both of your dogs while they're interacting with each other. Supervision is extremely important in this situation because there is a possibility that they are gonna get into a fight and if that does happen, you have to make sure that you separate them. Now I'm gonna bring you into the third tip here and it's mega important, but it's kinda of complicated and a lot of people usually break this one because of instinct. It's our instinct to want to do this, so to go against this is kind of hard. The third tip is going to be to stay away from your husky and your brand new dog while they get used to each other in the house. Now, I know so many people wanna pet their dogs and get close to them and be like, here, let me introduce you to this person. You've seen it a million times. Anytime people introduce their pets to one another, it's like they hold the brand new pet and then they let the old pet sniff it while they're holding the new pet, right? Holding either pet while they're getting used to each other indoors is not ideal. And here's why. Whenever you are standing above one of your dogs or holding them, you're actually empowering them and giving them a whole lot of confidence. Because you're behind your dog and it seems like you're giving them backup, your dog kind of sees it as like, hey dude, I got a human being on my side, so I can get away with murder right now. So, so many times I've seen owners grab their dog and huddle over them while their dog is literally fighting another dog and they don't don't understand why and it's because you are emboldening your dog by being so close to them. When you're not around, your dog doesn't have that extra confidence. So they may think twice or three times about getting into a scuffle with another dog that they're just meeting. So just consider this. Don't suffocate your dog or your puppy whenever you're letting them introduce each other in the house. The best thing to do is just put a leash on your puppy and let them stay by you. They shouldn't be going into other rooms anyways. And if it's a new dog and it's not a puppy, let them stay on the leash near you anyways. If something goes down while they're getting used to each other, you can quickly pull them away without being too close to your husky or your brand new dog. It's gonna take some time, but eventually both your Siberian husky and your brand new dog that you bring home are going to get along. Now I'm sure I've mixed that whole thing up like a thousand times. Your new Siberian husky, your brand new dog, I'm not really sure which one you got, but either way, this is gonna work with whatever you do. As always, try it at home. Let us know how it goes in the comments. And hopefully we just helped out a whole bunch of people in case they're getting a brand new Christmas Siberian Husky puppy. If you guys had fun today, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Huskaroni Pizza episodes. And we'll see you next time with another fun-filled Husky episode and guess what? Yeah, that's right, dude. Whatever we make. Peace! Scooby doo bop 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 ba doo 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 ba